All right, so here's the deal. I've been trying out Liberwolf and Waterfox lately. And honestly, they both feel like Firefox's rebellious cousins. Same DNA, totally different vibes. Let's start with Waterfox. It's kind of the chill middle ground. Still privacy focused, but not paranoid about it. It's been around since 2011, and even though it got sold to an ad company for a bit, which made everyone nervous, it's back to being independent now. Waterfox removes all of Firefox's telemetry and data collection junk, but it still plays nice with sites like Netflix and your online banking. It even works with both new and old Firefox extensions, which is super handy. Plus, there's an Android version, something LibreWolf doesn't have. The only downsides? It updates a little slower than Firefox, and the older classic version isn't really secure anymore so you'll want the newer one. Now LibreWolf. Imagine Firefox, but if someone took it apart, stripped out everything connected to Google, Mozilla, or any kind of tracking, and rebuilt it purely for privacy nerds. It doesn't send data anywhere, it doesn't use Google's safe browsing, and it even turns off stuff like WebGL to make you harder to fingerprint. And it automatically wipes cookies when you close tabs which feels pretty satisfying, honestly. Performance-wise, it's surprisingly fast. Some people claim it's up to 28% faster than regular Firefox, and in a few tests it even hit infinite speed, whatever that means, but yeah, it flies. The catch? It's not the most user-friendly thing out there. Some websites just refuse to work right. Netflix, certain banks or anything with DRM can give you a headache. It's also desktop only, so no Android version. Basically, it's amazing for privacy, but not for convenience. It feels like living off the grid, peaceful, but sometimes inconvenient. If I had to sum it up, LibreWolf feels like a digital bunker, insanely private, maybe too private. Waterfox feels like a well-balanced privacy browser that doesn't make your life harder.